In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sliding scale commission calculator for decreasing percentages in Excel. I have previously showed you how to do a sliding scale commission calculator for percentages that go up. And in this one, um, they go, percentages go from 1 to 8%. And um, if you look at the formula here, we've clicked on the commission earned. It's a series of V lookups. Um, and multiplied by the commission rate. Now, this doesn't work when the percentages are going the other direction. So let me show you how I did this one. Okay, so here we have our range um, from 20,000 to 500,000, and they're trying to increase to, uh, to get you to make a sale. And so the first 20,000, you get 10%, and then when you get to uh, the 500,000, you're going to get 1%. Now, so how I've done this is this is the top range of the, the top of each of the range. And now to figure out the commission earned. And so the commission earned calculation here is simply uh, in the first one, it's basically um, the top of the range, which is $20,000 times 10%, which is $2,000. Now for each of the other ones, what we're going to do is we are calculating what they're earning, get it if they have made this sale in addition to that sale. And so what I've done here is I've gone B9, which is the 30,000 minus the 20,000. So basically it's 10,000. And then you're multiplying by the 9%. And that's how, how you get the $900 right there. And so now let me show you how this works. So let's go first of all, and let's try over the $20,000. And you have, uh, so I'm going to put in 25,000. And there you can see that you have the 2,000 because you've, you've made over the 20,000. And then you're taking, so you have $5,000 left. And so that's times 9%. So that gets you your 450. And there's your commission of 25. Uh, 2450 for this particular instance. So now if I delete this one, what it's going to do is um, let's give it uh, $150,000. Okay, so now you can see that for each of these, it calculates how much additional is put in there. And basically what this commission earned is, is just a sum so it's a sum of these values here, and that's what calculates your commission. Now, let's talk about um, the formulas that are in this, uh, this cell here. So the first one is easy. So I have just, I have named this range, and I've put this as sales. The other way I could do this is I could put an F4 in this so that you are, uh, so you always know where it is, but the sales makes it easier for you to understand. So if sales are greater than B8, and B8 is your top of your range, then C8, so C8 is your top value. So that's what's put in here, right? But if it's not uh, greater than B8, the sales equals sale, the number of what the actual sales are times D8, which is the, uh, which is the percentage. Now, the next one is a little more tricky here. So it goes, if sales are greater than B9, which is the top of the range, then C9, which is what we've calculated as the, um, as the value. And so if that's not true, if sales minus B8, so if, if the sales be greater than and uh, minus B8, which is the value above it, if it's if that minus minus sales minus the value above it is greater than zero, then sales minus B8 times D9, D9, which is your commission, and then um, zero is your alternative. So that if it's not, if the difference between the two of them isn't, it's going to put a zero value in there. Now, uh, I'll show you a couple more examples. I will, of course, include this formula, the formulas in, in the description of my video. So let's delete this again. And let's just go, let's say you did 
And so there you go, there it's 10% and it's $80. $80. So I hope you understand this. Please subscribe.